Nothing is there. <laughs> So, on this, the channel with no catchphrase, I'm going to be telling you a tale of despair, of danger, of, well, the possibility that I could have transitioned into the Vox Lady Biker, or I could have quite easily even lost my face. Yes, it does sound a little bit over the top, doesn't it? But let me explain what happened, and we'll see if, um, if my tale of near death tallies up to what I have to say. So, about nine days ago, went for a an evening ride after work, sort of thing, you know, blow off the stress. And I got to the end of this r lovely road and um, stopped to take some pictures of this glorious, glorious bike. And um, I noticed the smell of um, rotten eggs. I put it down to something industrial in the area, farm, I, I don't know. Anyway, got back on the bike, and I'm riding back, kind of enjoying myself, but I'm noticing a lot of heat from under the, um, the seat. And noticed the smell again, and I touched the rear side panel, the rear panel, you know, back rear panel, <laughs> whatever, and it was boiling to the touch. Oh, well, I waited a bit, and I gingerly rode home, took off the seat, and the side panel, now I know that's where the regulator rectifier is. I checked the cables from the regulator rectifier, couldn't really see anything badly burnt or anything. And then as I'm playing around, I touched the battery strap and I nearly got a blister. It was molten hot. I, I literally just googled hot bike rotten egg smell. <laughs> And it came back that that smell is boiling battery acid. Risk of explosion. Shit. And that, the battery, right under my bowels. But to think that while I was investigating, my face was right down by that battery. And these are like explosive devices. If they go off and your face is there, that's it ordered a new one and um, this is the first test ride since and now you get to watch me and Bumble Dad who popped around play around fitting it. Got a new regulator, uh, got a new battery and we're gonna play around. See you in a bit. So while Bumble Dad does some exploratory work so that is not the original don't know what that's off of. The cables here are burnt and solid. Um, so yeah, we'll see what's going on under there. How are they in there? Are they more supple? Yeah, they don't seem too bad. It's where they go into here. Yeah, I mean, we've got a fair length. Yeah. See, that's what you've got, connectors. Right. Okay, well, we'll go and get some fresh ones. These are the females. What are these ones? Right, now these sort, you do need to crimp them, but you can solder them. You cut that thing off, that red plastic thing, mm -hmm. and uh, Put the wire in and just solder into it. Let's find the red one. Went out. Yeah, I think fine. There's a nut on the other side of that. So. Yeah. That's the Fernando. Peter, what are you doing? Speaking Italian. On the what? Meths, the drink of champions. <laughs> so here's the new regulator. It's not the original part. Got it from 
Wimoto. Get that onto there. Nice and tight. Cool, oh dear. That's it. We couldn't get colour coded. <laughs> Each ring's <laughs> the right size for the other cables. Good like that, yeah. Yeah, it's not it's not putting any pressure on that. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's good. That is good. Right. So we're at twelve point specific starts. Not in gear, am I? No power. No power. Zero. Yep. So for purposes of video, the fuse had gone in the uh, starter solenoid. That was probably us shorting it out, possibly. Where do you want that? So we got we got twelve point eight six volts on the new battery. Yep. Uh, Dad, if you can start it for me. You don't really need choke. Or probably not. not. Okay. And where is it down there? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Dead as a dodo. Dodo is a large bird that is now completely dead. It is extinct. Call me paranoid, but I just want to have another quick check. Temperature wise. See if it's hot down here. It's quite a lot of heat. So what I need to do is get back and check to be sure I'm not cooking the battery again. So even though I've got a new rectifier regulator, something is still not right. Oh Bumble Blade, you're certainly making me sweat, aren't you? This is boiling. This is really hot. The side panel's hot to touch. That's obviously hot. But I don't know if I'm being paranoid, but there was a lot, there's a lot of heat. No rotten egg smell, but I didn't have a long ride. My God, that is hot. Maybe it's, it's right. But, damn, I'm not sure. So a little thing I'm doing, whether it'll help or not, I'm not quite sure. Some of this dielectric grease on all of the terminals to get them really good clean and um, giving it that a go. And I'm also now going to be putting on some of this silicon coolant paste, which is a thermal paste compound for heat sinks. Um, there, just to help with heat as well. Right, so first of all, let's just check the voltage of the battery on its own. About 13 volts, that's good. Next, we're going to turn on the engine and get it to 5,000. We're going to need some help for this from the wife. Okay, so... So grabbing our trust, uh, trusty Honda 5 lead Haynes manual, 
Let's have a look. I don't, I don't try to hold it arm length. We're looking now for a stator coil resistance of 0, 0,1 to 0, 0,3 ohms on all three phases. Okay. Let's just check to see what resistance we've got in the actual cables itself. So I think we've got a resistance of 5. So whatever it is, minus 5. Let's jam it in. And 8. Eight. Eight. Next we're going to do a dynamic test. We're testing the AC voltage. So it should be in theory slightly more accurate on the status and the functionality of the state hall. Let's put it onto the AC. Let's go to two. Hundred. We're going to do exactly the same, but this time with the engine running. All seems to check out. And the last thing we're going to do, just to be really sure, is a grounding test from the stator, just to see that there's no leakage um, through um, cables grounding where they shouldn't ground, etc. etc. So I've put it on the little alarm here, and what I should get when I check the three phases is just that no reading at all. If I do get a reading, which means there is a problem it will give me this alarm. So let's give that a go. So for this, to check that the wires, the insulated wires are fine, I'm gonna attach this to the negative, and then I'm gonna draw it. Good, good, good. So, stator's fine, everything checks out gets hot maybe it's just this here I will upgrade as many people have said I, sh I think I made a mistake getting this but okay uh, so let's get it back on the road another test ride And no excessive heat. Maybe it's just cleaning those connectors. Maybe that's all that was needed. I'm happy bunny. I'll see you all soon. Bye. Actually, I'll see you all soon when I do the regulator upgrade to a posh one. As suggested by many. See ya. Cause I've been living life right like I could just die